Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Reggio, and I want to introduce you in the next few minutes to a program I'm running called Kick-Ass Consulting. I originally ran this program years ago with my partner, John Laval, the president of the Society of NLP. And the reason John and I decided to put this program together is that we both knew many people who had great skills as NLP practitioners, master practitioners, trainers, coming from other areas with other skills, some of them in consulting practices for themselves already. But they hadn't yet achieved what I think is the golden outcome, so to speak, that both John and I were able to get to and sustain for many years. And that was building a very solid seven-figure practice. Now, this is extraordinary in two ways. Because not only were John and I able to do that, but we each did it independently on our own. We didn't have partners, we didn't have a firm, we were working as solo consultants generating incomes of over seven figures, primarily in working with organizational and corporate clients. We were doing trainings that were public trainings and open to individuals who wanted to show up because they had outcomes that they desired to achieve on their own. And this is what Kick-Ass Consulting was about. Now, one of the things that was interesting is that many of the people who came to that program initially had never worked before in an organizational setting. They had never really done what we call consulting. They had done private work with individuals. Maybe they did something more like therapy or coaching. But the really big change that became available to them was this ability to work with groups and charge at a group level, whether that was for consulting work, whether that was for facilitation, whether that was for training. The numbers change dramatically when you can work with groups. And in Kick-Ass Consulting, we're going to deliver that information so that you can work with organizations at the highest levels if you choose to. Many of my private clients who mentor with me are working exclusively at the senior executive level in multinational corporations around the world. It was a level that I, in fact, focused on and specialized in in the last few years where I was really intensely working in the organizational corporate world. In addition, we're going to look at some of the things that hold consultants back. There's a number of things that stop them, including first and foremost, the mindset that they have. They just don't have the right attitude to succeed in consulting. It's a different mindset than wanting to help people. It's wanting to help people and more. And in Kick-Ass Consulting, I'm going to be working with you. I'm going to help you get the mindset you need to succeed. Not just as a group, but in our private conversations one-on-one, -on -one, both in the room and in the breaks, at lunch, maybe at dinner. You see, this is going to be two very intense days. We're running it in a off-site training facility where we're going to be spending a lot of time together. And I'm going to be very intense and I'm going to deliver a lot of content. But in addition, you're going to get to rub shoulders with me for two days and pick up some of what I'm calling that attitude of a consultant. Specifically, the attitude of a seven-figure consultant, which is a bit different than somebody who's barely succeeding. Now, some of the things that hold consultants back is the inability to understand the fundamental first step, which is how to present and organize your offer, whether it's services or products or programs, in such a way that immediately the client you want to work with perceives high value in what you do. You see, clients will pay you if they can perceive the value that you present. So we first have to figure out who do you want to speak with? How do you need to speak with them? And what do you need to say so that they understand there's extraordinary value in what you're presenting? Most consultants never get past this point. They simply don't know how to charge for value. So they fall back on the old standard of charging for hours or days that they spend. And that is incredibly limiting because you only have so many hours. It's fixed. There are only so many days in a year or in a month that you can make yourself available. And if you sell yourself in that way, you're going to burn out. It's going to exhaust you and you're just not going to show up in a way where your clients want to continue to hire you. So you have to learn how to add value. Now, I've already said that I built a seven-figure business. I remember way back in the early 1990s when I first was learning NLP and first hung out my shingle as a consultant. I started doing sales trainings. And I remember thinking way back then, if I could just earn $50,000 a year, how thrilled I'd be to have made the change in my life that I was looking to make at that point in time. Little did I know, five years later, in 1995, I'd be billing out at $50,000 a week for the trainings I was delivering all around the world. And I did that again and again for corporate clients, for organizations, for many years running. Now today, I don't do those trainings anymore. I simply don't want to travel that much. I'm spending much more of my time now in Princeton, where I live currently. And my clients now come to me. They fly in from all over the world to spend a day or two with me to get intensive mentoring 
to get intensive advice from me about their businesses, about their careers, about their organizations, and the changes they want to make to improve. And I charge them now $25,000 a day for that work that I do with them. This was unimaginable to me back in 1990 when I began. And now it seems to me to be clear as day. And it's in part because I understand the thing I've just been talking to you about, how to organize the value in such a way that the clients that I work with perceive exactly what they'll be getting when they make that commitment to work with me. In order to fulfill that commitment, I have to know how to deliver. Before I can get there, though, I have to be able to do two more things, which we'll cover in Kick-Ass Consulting. The first one is marketing the services you want to provide. And again, it doesn't matter if that's consulting, coaching, training, or products that you developed. You need to understand how to position them in the mind of your client. You see, your clients are going to go through five essential questions that they need to ask and answer for themselves to say yes to you. When you know what those five essential questions are, you'll be able to position how you say, when you say it, to them in such a way that those questions are automatically asked and answered and they can't help but to say yes to you. They'll want urgently to do business with you because they'll understand the value that you're going to provide. In addition, you need to be able to do that live. You need to be able to sell, in other words. And many consultants here are uncomfortable to begin with, or even if they're comfortable, don't quite know how to do it in such a way that they get the outcomes that they want and desire time after time. I can say with great confidence to you, I know how to help you sell more effectively than you do today, almost regardless of how well you do it. And I can say that because in every major sale I've ever presented to a client, I got a yes from them. Every major project we presented, we got a yes to. And we were talking about projects, again, that were seven figures plus and multi-year contracts. So I understand what needs to happen when you sit down with a client, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or with a team of people, to present yourself and the offer you're making in such a way that they feel compelled to want to work with you. Now, if after that you don't deliver, the letdown will be enormous. So we'll also cover in Kick-Ass Consulting how to deliver consulting packages and programs, trainings, how to deliver products and develop products that really fulfill the expectation of the clients based on the promises that you make and the expectations they have. When we do that, there are two wonderful things that are going to happen. You're going to get clients who want to refer you to other people and your business is going to grow. And just as importantly, you're going to get clients who want to do more work with you, who want to hire you again, because the client you've already sold is the easiest client to do work with. It's the easiest client to get to sell again. And that means your income, your revenues are going to skyrocket. You're going to have clients working for you. Clients who are buying from you repeatedly and clients who are working to sell you to friends, to associates, to colleagues, because they realize the value that you bring. And that's based in the way you deliver that goes all the way back to that value proposition I started with because they realize that the value you promise has been exceeded by the value they've received. And that's all in the way you organize your interventions. We'll cover that in thorough detail before you leave those two days with me. Now, I know this is a lot, and I can pretty much assure you that at the end of these two days, you're going to be a bit whooped. That's okay. You're going to be leaving with a plan in place that's designed to be a blueprint for your own seven-figure business. You're going to be able to build a practice which does two remarkable things. Generate the incomes you want now so that you go beyond having a job for yourself and being your own boss, to being able to bring people in and do all of the work that you don't want to do so you can focus on what you do best. People who can pick up the slack in the technology area if that's not something you're interested or particularly good at. People who can work with you around the marketing questions or the finance questions. That's one remarkable outcome. The second remarkable outcome of really having a solid seven-figure plan in place is that you begin to be able to recognize opportunities for passive income. You see, I want you to leave with a plan in place that at least equals in passive income what you make in active income. For every dollar you earn consulting, I want you to earn a dollar while you're sleeping. The reason that that's important is because at some point you're not going to want to or be able to do this work in the way you do it today. And if you can establish a solid passive income stream, that's just going to give you opportunities to do all kinds of things, but most importantly, from my point of view, spend time with the people you care about and love. To recharge yourself, to enjoy the fruits of the efforts of the practice that you're going to be building. And we'll be covering all of this in detail in the Kick-Ass Consulting program 
over two days with me in a beautiful off-site location that we've organized to really enhance what's going to happen during the program. The next step though is up to you. You have to go ahead and fill out the application. Once we get it, we'll take a look at it, make sure everything's in order, and we'll let you know whether or not you've been accepted into the program. Assuming that you're accepted into the program, we're going to spend a fabulous two days together. You're going to get personal attention from me. You're going to get all of the content that you need to build a seven-figure practice. You're going to leave with a strategic plan of action in place with the steps that you need to take to build that kind of practice over the next year or two. And you're going to be thrilled with the time you've spent. Only if you take that next step. It all begins with filling out the application and letting us see whether or not we're a match for one another. If we are, I look forward to showing you the way. Thanks very much for spending this time with me. I'm Dr. Joseph Riggio, and I'll see you on the inside.